Hey, good afternoon everyone. I am, I would try to do a Facebook Live video broadcasting from Mexico, but my connection here isn't quite strong enough. So I'm gonna do it the uh, old fashioned way with a phone in the mirror. So um, I wanted to take a minute to show you all the things that I brought with me because I'm so excited about um, how thoroughly I have prepared for this trip. So um, it's, I've been fortunate to travel a lot over the past few years, and so I've done a lot of traveling uh, Ultimate Weight Loss, and um, it has gone well, uh, really for the most part, but I have taken it to a whole new level this time, and um, it's totally over the top, but I'm really excited about it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do is give you a little tour of the stuff that I have in my hotel room that I brought with me and my suitcases. Well, you have to forgive the little piggy tent in the background. That's my three-year-old's um, sleeping, her bed. <laughs> so anyway, here we start on the left here. We'll start with my uh, exercise stuff. So I have the TheraBands um, that are so easy to throw in a backpack. I had those in my carry-on and ended up waiting unexpectedly for over two hours for our friends to show up at the airport. And I stood there and I got four or five sets of exercise bands in, and I got to play with my daughter. We were slingshotting her, and she thought that was the most fun ever, so it was multi-purpose. Um, I brought my yoga mat. Um, sometimes I'll go out and do yoga in the grass on a towel, but I've done it in the past, and it's just not all that great. And so this way I can do it in the room, and. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier or I can or deck or I can still take it to the grass. Um, there I have my TRX brands that Wass is a, a knockoff brand, um, but it's a setup that goes over the door. I'll try to take a picture of it later or I can take it outside and do TRX exercises like I did a demo of the other day. Um, so then I also brought a neat um, Chef AJ's game-changing granola um, and I made a baggie for each day with the intention of taking it down to the restaurant but it's probably gonna end up just being snack food because they have plain oats there um, and I can have a little bit of that after breakfast anyway um, I have some dehydrated hummus which I've never tried before JP gave me instructions to do that so um, there's a couple different kinds of hummus, which I obviously have not rehydrated yet. Um, I'm trying to use up some of my perishable food first, so I have some things kind of on reserve for the next few days once the first stuff is done. Um, this is sprouted lentils, which I have never attempted before. Um, that's not totally true. I've sprouted other things before, so I'm not entirely sure that's going to work, but it's worth a shot. I have Japanese sweet potatoes, of course. Uh, you might have seen my post yesterday. They had an interesting time getting through security. I had two Mexican um, uh, customs agents that were searching all of our bags and I had split up all the food in case it got taken away uh, or found in one bag and not the others, but they ended up finding all of it. And um, they did the good old fashioned sniff test and believe me that it was a strange potato and they let me keep it, so <laughs> I have those. Um, I have some bags of cooked rice. Um, these are on sale at Whole Foods. I've never tried this brand of the pre-cooked stuff before. I get the Lundberg uh, regular stuff all the time. But I do not have a microwave, so I am going to find out how this is straight out of the bag. I'm sure it's fine, probably just not ideal. Um, these are, right behind here, these are just apple chips, which sound like they would be naughty and the ingredients are just organic apples. So obviously they are dehydrated, so they're more calorie dense than, uh, you know, they fall in line with any of the dried fruit that are not a great idea for weight loss, but I am at maintenance weight and also probably won't touch these. These are kind of more for my daughter and my husband, but if I'm in a real pinch, I will have that before I grab something else. That would be worse. Um, oh, this is a, um, the bananas are a little bit brown, but they uh, left us this really nice fruit basket, um, which is really great because we've been to this hotel before. That was a nice surprise. These are, um, well, they're the blueberry mill oat muffins um, made with just oats. I omitted the millet because I didn't have it. 
and I made it with pineapple instead of blueberries. And I have a new thing I've been doing lately, rather than making muffins out of them, I just put it in a soap hat um, cake pan, I guess, like an eight by eight um, baking pan and cut them into squares. So I, for some reason for me, I think they, they stay a little bit more moist that way. So that's how I make them. Uh, what else? So I have some Trader Joe muesli. Again, this is kind of a backup before I decided to make the uh, granola and probably more for my sister, my daughter and husband, but in a pinch, I can grab that and have some with breakfast if I need to. Oh, raisins and Lara Bar's daughter's things. I grabbed some um, unsweetened almond milk in the just single serve containers because I had no idea what our refrigeration was going to be. A little bit more expensive that way, but they I can bring it down to the restaurant or I can just have it in the room, um, but, you know, mixed in with the granola or whatever I'm going to use. My husband uses them for coffee sometimes too, but I think they have um, they have soy milk in the restaurant, which is great, but of course it's vanilla and sweetened, so I don't need that. Um, so let's see, let me go first to other things I brought. So I grabbed a couple boxes of um, the Whole Foods No Salt Added Beans, and I actually brought my own strainer so that I could make sure that I could actually rinse them off and not be messing around with this stuff here. I brought some um, utensils from home. I've actually gone to the dollar store and got just these really cheap silverware so that I'm not eating off of plasticware and it, it just makes it feel more like a real meal to me sometimes rather than eating out of a you know Tupperware or whatever container with a plastic fork um, so and if I needed to cut anything having a real knife I thought would be handy so I brought that I brought some table tasty I have some green greener grasses this is one of our nice gifts for the master program, a little sample size, so it's perfect for traveling. Uh, I haven't used it yet, actually, but I will probably start. Um, I've been having greens for breakfast even more so than usually at home, so um, I'm probably gonna fill up my water bottle and just sip on that throughout the day. I brought my essential oils. So I have my lemon and lavender. And lemon I've used a little bit for reducing cravings. I actually couldn't find my peppermint in time to bring it, so I'm without that. Um, lavender is great for relaxation, although so is lots of time in the sun. <laughs> um, oh, and this one, oh, a friend Judy Donovan made for me that is a um, anti-inflammatory blend that I'm using on my foot, which is doing an awesome job of healing and uh, running injury. So this is my cooler bag. This is the brand that AJ has to Zaza. I think it's called yeah um, not huge so it's great for small lunches or snacks it's definitely not gonna be big enough for most people to like, take to you know all your food for a work day or anything but to throw a, a few things in to take to the pool um, I thought that would be handy and I had very few things that needed to be refrigerated on the plane and I was able to just stick that cooler bag with an ice chip into my backpack so it wasn't an extra carry-on it was just really easy to manage so I also brought some cans of pineapple and I brought my cinnamon and then when we got here we had prearranged with our transportation that we would take a trip to Walmart and I had planned in advance to bring those things so that I could go to Walmart and just get some frozen greens so I have a bag of frozen kale and a couple bags of uh, frozen spinach and I am mixing them with the crushed pineapple and cinnamon and it is just amazing if you haven't tried that recipe yet try it it's it's hardly even a recipe it's just a seasoning sort of but I just took probably a pound of spinach drained it as best I could frozen spinach and then took one of these small it's an eight ounce can of crushed pineapple and mixed it together I also had brought a few Tupperware so that I would be able to make things like that in the room pretty easily and store it in the fridge as needed um, let's see. Oh, and so I, I did, I called ahead to see to make sure we had a fridge and they did tell us we had a mini bar, um, but no microwave where I wasn't able to procure that. So I took the contents of the mini bar and you can kind of see all the, uh, soda they gave us, um, and just stashed it somewhere. And then, oh, that's my husband's beard, not mine. And I put, um, it's a teeny tiny little fridge 
but there's enough room for the frozen spinach that I needed and um, you know extra muffins and things like that. There's a little bag of edamame too and a pinch of good snack. It seems to not close really well, but it works. It's definitely better than nothing. Um, let's see if I forgot anything. I don't think so. So anyway, I'll go back to my fridge here or my mirror. Anyway, um, if you have questions, post comments, or if you have suggestions, or if anybody particularly has experience sprouting lentils, that would be really handy right about now. Um, I think I'm just going to let them soak. I rinsed them a few times. I think I let them soak overnight. Rinse them again tomorrow and then start just letting them sprout. So if you have any special tips, that would be really handy. Um, otherwise, I guess that's about all I can think of. So. Hope you all are having a good time. I will soak up as much sun as I possibly can for everybody, and I will be tuning in uh, later in the week to catch up on Healthy Taste of Sacramento. So hi to everybody that is enjoying that uh, broadcast today. That is such a treat, and I know I have some friends that are there in person, and uh, that's an even greater treat. So have a lovely day, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.